The ninth Sunday after Pentecost, year A, from the book of Genesis. You have striven with God and with humans and have prevailed. In the name of that God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. sometimes feels less like a soothing voice crooning that all will be well and more a voice of command to which we cling with all the tenacity of a wrestler because we trust that the speaker has knowledge and power and even our own best interests motivating the demand being made. So it is with Jacob, literally wrestling with God on the banks of the Jabbok and refusing to let go, even with a dislocated hip, until God blesses him with the promise that he will not only wrestle, but prevail. We face these questions as a society when we consider our complicity with systemic evils such as racism, but not limited to racism by any means. Do we continue to deceive ourselves and others, or do we lay a hold of the truth? and trust with our psalmist that God will hear a prayer that does not come from lying lips. So it is that Paul trusts in the ultimate salvation of his fellow Israelites, not because his people are worthy, but because God has granted to them the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. And God is faithful. The point of the feeding of the 5,000 is that the disciples did not know where enough food was going to come from, just as Jacob did not know how he was going to survive an honest reunion with his brother. Faith is that willingness to wrestle, to grasp a hold of the promise that there will be a righteous way forward, and that the God of righteousness will not lead us to destruction. (laughs) All appearances to the contrary. Imagine your own footsteps holding fast to the ways of God's law, step by faltering step, because you trust that in the paths of your God your feet shall not stumble. That, my kindred, is faith. That, my kindred, is discipleship. In the name of our God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.